All right, everything is ready. Ready to go, everything's good to go. My lights are even on. Let's go. Truck is running. Safe to drive. Got my breakfast right here. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> okay, let's get the seatbelt properly adjusted. Get the seat properly adjusted. Steering wheel properly adjusted. All right, girl, you ready to go? You ready to go? We've been sitting here for two days now. First, I'll release the trailer brakes. That's what this red button is here. You push that in. It shoots air into the trailer behind me, and it releases the brakes so that I can move. The yellow one here is for the truck. I'm going to put my foot on the brake, push that in. Put my foot on the brake, obviously, so that I don't roll away. Because once I push that in, all of the brakes are released, and nothing is holding the truck in, in place. Most of you knew that already. I need new wipers. My wipers just smear the water around. They don't wipe it. Oh well, that's okay. Put it in gear. Boop. Yes, I drive an automatic truck. What? I'm not ashamed of it. When I bought it, that's just what it happened to come with. So that's what we got. All right, so I go out and around this road here and around over the overpass, back that way into St. John. So let's go. This is a fully automatic truck, so there is no clutch. The clutch is automatic. Well, there is a clutch, but it's automatic. Oh, and of course, this is how it always happens. You just start rolling, and somebody comes. Perfect timing, my friend, perfect timing. Good thing I like Maritimers, because they're so nice. Honestly, I'm not even being sarcastic. Maritimers are like the nice people on the planet. By Maritimers, I mean Eastern Canadians. That is uh, anything east of Quebec in Canada. That would include New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, and I would include Newfoundland in that too. Turn the lights all the way on. I had my park lights on. Because the wipers are in use, that means you need your headlights. Climb this little hill. Like I said, we're gonna go around this little side street, back around over the overpass, back onto Highway 1 in St. John, New Brunswick. It's been a beautiful couple of days out here. It's been very nice. Uh, the people who came to say hi to me even said, you know, they're not used to this nice of weather at this time of year. But, and you can tell all the leaves are changing colors. Beautiful reds and oranges and browns and yellows and all kinds of other fun stuff. Well, welcome to the day, guys. Let's deliver some freight. Good morning. Thanksgiving is over. That means we can deliver our freight. Today's the day we keep moving. Two days off here in St. John, New Brunswick. We're now going to go deliver our freight into St. John and then head over to Prince Edward Island. Have I even told you that that's where I'm going yet? Probably haven't even told you that. But that is the mystery province that I have not been to yet. Prince Edward Island. It was a trick question because I have not been to the territories of Canada either. But they're not provinces. It's also a trick question because I haven't been to Labrador either. But I've been to Newfoundland. And that's the same province. Gotcha. So yes, we're going to Prince Edward Island. We're going to deliver there later, later today. And then uh, we'll be empty and we'll figure out where we're going from there. Probably down into the States or into Ontario. Uh, I have no idea. No idea really, but we're going to figure it out later. So thanks for clicking the video today. Stay tuned. Some very nice colors around here. Yeah, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up properly, but wow. Fall time in New Brunswick is my favorite place. Or it's my favorite time in place. You know what I mean. Fall time, New Brunswick. New Brunswick is like, the majority of it is like huge forests like this, right? Like lots of bush. And it's just incredible. Manitoba doesn't get any of those beautiful red colors in our fall. We only get yellows and browns and ugly colors. Like everything in the fall time in Manitoba, you can tell it's dying. It's dead. Bye-bye. Winter's coming. 
nothing good about it. You come out here though, you can actually enjoy the autumn. I might actually call it autumn here. It's more of a fancy word for it, because it's more of a fancy place. Autumn. I've never been down this highway though, so this is uh, foreign territory. Well, not foreign. Pardon me. Fresh territory. I'm still in my same nation. This is the southern part of New Brunswick. First time ever gracing it with my presence. Here I am. Nobody really cares. Nobody really cares. No. Freight is delivered. Like a boss. We've got one more piece, and that piece is going to Prince Edward Island. Let's not keep them waiting. Let's go to the island. It's not the island that I usually talk of. Usually when I say the island, I'm talking Newfoundland, but this is the actual island. This is the island. The smaller island. Prince Edward Island. Must be nice to be Prince Edward, have a whole island named after you. I don't see any Trucker Josh Island anywhere. We're just coming up to the famous Confederation Bridge. It's an eight mile bridge. Almost 13 kilometers. It's too bad it's such a terrible day. I can't show it to you properly, but I'll tell you a little bit about it anyways in the next clip. It's a masterpiece of engineering, you might say. Exciting. Where do I go now? What do I do? Straight? This van in front of me was scared of the bridge. And he almost stopped a couple of times. It wasn't even that bad. I, I, I was hoping it wouldn't be like such bad weather going over there so we could see it better, but... I'm gonna take lots of pictures of us as we come onto the island. Oh my. Cool. It's a whole new world. Brand new place we've never seen. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Through traffic ahead. Oh, they got French on their signs here too. Oh. I really hope this rain stops for the drive back. I sort of want to see more of that Confederation Bridge. So Prince Edward Island so far reminds me a lot of rural Southern Ontario. Those small farms, old properties. Little towns like this with some old structures to them. It's, I've heard that before, that Prince Edward Island is mostly rural farms. And so far, uh, that's been accurate. A lot of sprawling farms and stuff, but they're smaller farms than what we see on the prairies in Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta. I don't know how they could make a profit off such a small, small piece of land, but you know, most farms in Saskatchewan, let's say, are like, you know, they're up to 30,000 acres. That's a farm. Out here, it looks like you got, what, maybe a couple hundred acres per farm, maybe a thousand. Just wondering, maybe they have higher, uh, higher yields or something, or I don't know how they make money. All right, we're just coming up to the toll booth here just before Confederation Bridge. Looks like this time we'll be going over the bridge and uh, it won't be pouring rain. That's kind of nice. So to cross this bridge with a five axle unit is $68. But that covers both directions. It's free to come onto the island. You gotta pay to get out. I guess that's to keep all their citizens from leaving. I don't know. Does everyone want to get out of here that bad? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, here we go. Back onto the eight mile Confederation Bridge to the mainland. The Confederation Bridge. Confederation Bridge joins the Eastern Canadian provinces of Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick, making travel throughout the Maritimes easy and convenient. The curved 12.9 kilometer or 8 mile long bridge is the longest in the world crossing ice covered water. And more than a decade after its construction, it endures as one of Canada's top engineering achievements of the 20th century. 
The decision to replace the existing ferry service with a fixed link followed a heated debate throughout the 1980s. Farmers, fishermen, tourism operators, and residents of Prince Edward Island had sharply contrasting opinions about how year-round access to the mainland would affect their way of life and livelihood. Apparently you could only get to Prince Edward Island or back and forth during the summer, I guess, on the ferry. Eventually it was decided that the debate would be settled at the polls. The Federal Department of Public Works and Government Services selected its favorite bridge design out of several proposals from the private sector. And on January 18, 1988, Premier Joseph Gitz asked Prince Edward Islanders to make the final decision in a pub site. At the polls, 59.4% of Islanders voted yes to a fixed link. After four years of construction using crews of more than 5,000 local workers, the Confederation Bridge opened to traffic on May 31, 1997 at a total construction cost of $1 billion. Mm -hmm. And that information is brought to you by confederationbridge.com. All right, we just arrived here at the Irving and Salisbury, New Brunswick. This is my favorite truck stop in New Brunswick. It is huge. It's got everything in it and it's awesome. We're going to get ourselves some diesel. If you, if you saw that there, we're going to get ourselves some clean diesel as opposed to the other diesel. The dirty diesel. I have no idea what the difference is, just so you know, clean diesel. One thing I don't like about here on the East Coast is you have to hold these the whole time. There's no lever in here to hold this thing open. They don't trust you, so you gotta sit here and hold it, which is fine in the summertime, but in the wintertime, you gotta sit out here in the freezing cold and hold this thing. And if you get caught propping it open with a fuel cap lid or something, you get in big trouble. So I gotta sit here and hold this the whole time. They take do not leave pump unattended very seriously on the East Coast. They obviously don't trust the drivers. Somebody made a big mistake, probably made a huge fuel spill, and now we all have to sit here and hold it. Grand total for today, 419 liters, $464. Giddy. 419 clean diesel liters. What do you think about that, Sergeant? Clean diesel. Oh, it's better than dirty diesel, man. Better than dirty. I don't even know what the difference is, but hey. Do you know the difference? You take the garbage out, that's what the difference is. Good point, let's take that out right now. Uh, what is all this stuff on it? There you go, more room for you. I'll take this out, okay? Good job, man, you both time. Well, I think Prince Edward Island is pretty cool. I like it. Like I said, it's like a big Southern Ontario rural area. It's almost all farms, uh, very old, uh, old architecture and stuff everywhere, and uh, very friendly people, very friendly people. They have their, uh, well, sort of like the Maritimer accent. So, it's an interesting place. Doesn't feel like I'm on an island, sort of like on Newfoundland when I get there. Now I've been on two different islands in the Maritimes. Newfoundland, is Newfoundland part of the Maritimes? Or is it its own little thing? I know it has its own little time zone. Is it its own thing or is it part of the Maritimes? I think it's part of the Maritimes, but I'm a prairie boy, so what do I know? I can tell you Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta are the prairie provinces. But anyways, we're about to go back to Confederation Bridge, cross back into New Brunswick. I have a load waiting there for me that I gotta pick up early tomorrow morning. Early in the morning. I hate getting up early, but hey, we'll do it. We'll take one for the team, we'll get up early. We'll be the first thing in the morning pick up that load and that's taking us down into southern Ontario. Uh, they told me I was going south, so I thought the states. I didn't think south as in southern Ontario, but whatever. I'll take it. Make, tell me to drive somewhere. I'll drive there. That's what I love to do. So we're here at the Petro Pass in Moncton. That's where we're going to sleep tonight. We're about 30 kilometers and 20 some miles from where we got to pick up our load. Uh, they were closed today already, so we're gonna pick it up tomorrow morning, like I said, early in the morning. So thanks for joining. Today was exciting. We got to go to Prince Edward Island, and I've never been there before, so that was a treat for us all. Got to go over Confederation Bridge. That bridge was eight miles long. This camera is gonna focus on my face anytime today. That would be fantastic. That bridge was eight miles long. I'll keep saying that over and over. Eight miles long. That's a long bridge. And it didn't collapse, we didn't fall in, so we made it. 
trucker draw stamp of approval. Bam! Just like that. So tonight, we'll sleep here in Moncton, and I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, down below in the description, there's links and ways to support the channel, and past vlogs for you to see. All the way up to two years ago, you can see what I was doing on exactly this day two years ago. I think I was in Newfoundland. I don't quite remember. I'll have to, I'll figure it out once I edit up this video, but you'll have to go check it out for yourself. I think I was out on the East Coast again two years ago. Links are all down below in the description of Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all that stuff. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Anytime after 4 a.m. Central.